Alright, what's up guys, it's Fick, and this is a standoff game that I got yesterday, and yeah, I do pretty good up until a certain point, then it starts to go to shit, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I figured today, we're going to discuss card ghosts. Oh yeah, I'm becoming one of those people. Uh, okay, so yesterday was the reveal, as it were, and I only wasn't that impressed. I got a few things that I want to discuss a few points from the reveal. Uh, firstly, the game looked not very good to me. Like, it didn't look like... And I fully understand this probably because they developed it with the current consoles in mind as well. Some people said that it was played on a PC but using the uh, Xbox controllers. Which I didn't think that the Xbox One controllers could be used on a PC yet. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did play it like that. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it looked very good. Especially for, like, next-gen. Or high-end PC graphics. I mean, it looked alright. But it wasn't, uh... wasn't as mind-blowing as I would have hoped it to be. But that's because it's the same engine, right? Or is it a new one? No, it's the same one. Um, they put in female characters, which is great, because now I can run into men pretending to be females even more. Uh... I'm looking forward to the gamer tags Miss Cutie Pie 2XX4 playing me, uh, and then me showing my penis over the Kinect cam and finding out that it's a guy, because that's probably going to happen. This is going to be a rambly commentary. I've just, <laughs> I've basically just made bullet points. Oh uh, yeah, female characters, not that big of a deal to me because I'm not a woman, so uh, it didn't really. Uh, give me any joy knowing that the character that I'd just been killed by was a female. Drinking during commentary again. Always professional. Uh, the interactive maps were... I think they refer to them as dynamic maps. And I feel like that's over-labeling what is basically a map with predetermined um, spots. So basically you can blow up a bus. I'm not sure why I'm telling you all this shit. You'll know it. I'm just giving my opinions. I, the maps, well done. You added a wall that can be blown up. Or a bus that can be knocked down. Or a gas station that can be knocked over in the same exact way every single time. I assume the same exact way. Uh, not that big of a deal, especially considering Battlefield. Uh, canine sidekicks? Hmm didn't really care for. I kind of like the idea that the dog will work as a sort of a mini UAV by growling uh, when enemies are near, but I hope that you uh, can have the dog killed and then it doesn't respawn. Like it would be nuts if it was like uh, a set time limit of maybe a minute with the dog and if the enemy shot the dog, the dog would just come back. Although then how are they going to balance that? Because if you shoot the dog straight away, that's pretty unfair, because I'm going to assume that Riley is quite a high kill streak. Or he should be, at least. Sorry, score streak. Uh, yeah, Riley, it's just, uh, just one canine unit, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm not that, I'm not that enthralled by the whole dog idea, I'm sure. Not everyone is, because uh, I've seen lots of people complaining that they're talking about how well textured they made a dog for this game. I did like the uh, the new modes. One second. <laughs> Don't know why I say one second every time. Should just cut this out, whatever. Uh, I liked Cranked. Crank looked like a really good time, and Search and Rescue looked like a really good way to play Search and Destroy. Uh, I know IW now may not make the greatest games in terms of like Modern Warfare 3, but they do come up with good modes. Kill Confirmed is now like a standard in COD, uh, and I think Search and Rescue is going to be a lot of fun. I like the idea that uh, no longer can they just sit and spawn and snipe you, they actually have to go and get the tag. Uh, although I'm going to assume the game ends even if they don't pick up all the tags when the whole enemy team is dead. But uh, Cranked was uh, the best looking one. Crank looked like it was a lot of fun, a lot of um, high-octane gameplay. I hate the term high-octane. 
Although I did see Nate Shot try to camp it up a little bit by lying on the floor. Fucking Nate Shot. Uh, I'm kidding. I did think that the time should be reduced from 30 to 15. I feel like 15 basically lets you get to the enemies because you got you're quicker and stuff. You can find enemies and take them out. I th feel like 30 may be a bit too much, but I could be wrong. Um, other than that, yeah, it looked like a fun game type. It looked like one that I'm probably going to be playing quite a bit. Um, what else? Okay, the vaulting of walls, like the fluid movement and the slide to knee. Uh, they seemed like... It seemed like when you were vaulting that you could still aim and shoot. Which might be a bit of a pain in the ass. Because there was no, like... I didn't look to me like there was any of your gun going down or anything. You know how in Battlefield how you look kind of down? Um, and the slide to knee, I'm not sure if you can shoot while sliding. If you can, I don't like it. If you can, then that's fine. Uh, it should just be a fun way to get from one side of a, a map to the other. Although someone said that you should add burns to your soldier's knees, which I agree with. Add the realism. And uh, the free, three, sorry, three-step UAV, uh, which if you weren't listening, it's three steps. The first step is uh, an enemy will appear on your map when one of your teammates spots them. And then the second step is the standard UAV that we all know and love as long as the others aren't wearing ghosts. And then the third step is a visa. I'm not sure if it's like the uh, the blocks visa where it's constant movement or whether it's like the Modern Warfare 3 advanced UAV because I don't think that was showing the triangles as they were moving and stuff. Oh man, the game's nearly over. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's not really like an in-depth feeling of ghosts, but I'm just kind of meh towards it. It's COD. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna probably bitch and moan about it like everyone else does. And then, uh, you're all gonna call me a hypocrite YouTube money whore. Anyway, end of video. Thanks for watching. See ya.